This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions to problems related to the machine dynamics topic. This video presents the solution to a problem, dealing with the static analysis of a slider crank mechanism. In this problem, we consider the slider crank mechanism shown here. It is asked to determine the moment M, and all reactions. Let's first start by drawing the free body diagram of the three links, bar AB, bar BDC, and slider C. To this goal, we first need to keep a miniature of the mechanism, to recall connections between bars. And, then, we need to split the links apart. The bar BDC does not receive any external force or moment, except for the two reactions in B and C. Thus, the bar BDC can be considered as a two-force member. Consequently, the reactions in B and C have the same direction as the line BC, and should balance each other. Let phi, be the angle of the line BC, with the horizontal direction. The angle phi will be determined later, using the geometrical parameters of the mechanism. The force FBC, in C, is applied by the slider C, on the bar BDC. Thus, the bar BDC, applies on the slider C, the same force FBC in C, but in the opposite direction. Similarly, the force FBC, in B, is applied by the bar AB, on the bar BDC. Thus, the bar BDC, applies on the bar AB, the same force FBC in B, but in the opposite direction. The slider C is connected to the ground using a prismatic or translating kinematic pair. Neglecting friction, the ground applies a normal force CN on the slider C, to balance the forces FBC and P. The bar AB is connected to the ground in A, using a revolute or a rotating kinematic pair. Therefore, the ground applied a reaction force in A. This reaction in A, should have the same magnitude, but the opposite direction, as the force FBC in B, to satisfy the force's equilibrium of the bar AB. We have completed the free body diagrams of the three links, bar AB, bar BDC, and slider C. Now, it is possible to move to write the equilibrium equations of these bars. For the bar BDC, the equilibrium forces and moment equations, are identically satisfied. For the slider C, it is possible to write two forces equilibrium equations. The equilibrium of forces along the horizontal direction gives FBC times cosine phi, minus 200 cosine 45 degrees, is equal to zero. The equilibrium of forces along the vertical direction gives CN minus, FBC times sine phi, minus 200 sine 45 degrees, is equal to zero. For the bar AB, it is possible to write two forces equilibrium equations, and one moment equilibrium equation. The two forces equilibrium equations, are identically satisfied, as the reaction in A, balances the reaction in B. We just need to write the moment equilibrium. The moment equilibrium equation about point A, writes, minus moment M, plus FBC cosine phi, times AB sine 60 degrees, plus FBC sine phi, times AB cosine 60 degrees, is equal to zero. This equation is also equivalent to, minus moment M, plus FBC times AB times sine, phi plus 60 degrees, is equal to zero. Now, we have established three equations, involving three unknowns, the moment M and two reactions, FBC, and CN. It is then possible to solve these equations. Before solving the three established equations, we need first to determine the angle phi. Considering the triangle BDC, the tangent of phi is equal to, CD divided by BD. We have also CD is equal to AB sine 60 degrees. Hence, the tangent of phi is equal to, AB sine 60 degrees, divided by BD. The tangent of phi is equal to, 30 sine 60 degrees, 
divided by 50, or 0 0.5196. Consequently, phi is equal to the arc tangent of 0 0.5196, or 27.46 degrees. We have the following three equations, considering that phi is equal to 27.46 degrees. Solving equation 1 gives, FBC is equal to, 200 times cosine 45 degrees, divided by cosine 27.46 degrees, or 159.39 newtons. Then, solving equation 2 gives, CN is equal to, 159.39 times sine 27.46 degrees, plus 200 times sine 45 degrees, or 214.92 newtons. Finally, solving equation 3 dash gives moment m is equal to, 159.39, times 30, times sine, 27.46 degrees plus 60 degrees, or, 4,777 newton centimeters.